人啦。China is grappling with a devastating crisis as Typhoon Gami unleashes unprecedented levels of rainfall, causing catastrophic flooding across the country. The downpour has been so relentless that Guangdong province has shattered its all-time record for 24-hour rainfall, with some areas drenched by over 400 millimeters of water. Uh. The deluge has turned cities into rivers, with Shenyang bearing the brunt of the disaster. Heart-wrenching images of submerged cars and stranded residents have flooded social media, highlighting the sheer scale of the catastrophe. The Hanjiang River, swollen to dangerous levels, has forced over 90,000 people in Shaozhou and Jiang to flee their homes. As the crisis deepens, the government has been scrambling to contain the damage. A level for emergency response has been activated for flood prevention in Guangdong with authorities working tirelessly to evacuate residents, reinforce dams, and provide relief aid. However, with the relentless rain showing no signs of abating, fears are growing that the situation could worsen before it improves. Adding to the mounting challenges, there are growing concerns about the accuracy of the official casualty figures. Past disasters have shown a disturbing pattern of underreporting fatalities, and many believe the true human cost of this crisis is far higher than what is being publicly acknowledged. The floods have caused widespread destruction, with homes, businesses, and infrastructure suffering immense damage. Agricultural lands have been inundated, threatening food security.
outages and communication disruptions have further compounded the misery for millions of people. As the nation reels from the impact of Typhoon Gami, questions are being raised about the government's preparedness for such extreme weather events. Critics argue that a lack of investment in flood control infrastructure and early warning systems has exacerbated the crisis. The road to recovery will be long and arduous. Rebuilding homes, restoring livelihoods, and healing the psychological wounds inflicted by this disaster will require immense effort and resources. It is imperative that the government, along with international aid organizations and the private sector, work together to support those affected and build a more resilient future. This catastrophic event serves as a stark reminder of the increasing frequency and intensity of extreme weather events linked to climate change. It is crucial that we invest in climate adaptation measures and reduce greenhouse gas emissions to mitigate the impacts of future disasters. The human cost of this tragedy is immeasurable, and it is essential that we come together as a global community to support China in its time of need. Only through unity and cooperation can we hope to overcome the challenges posed by this devastating crisis.